kids, I want you to try something with me. You will need two toothpicks, a penny, and some tape. Pause the video for a minute while you find these things. It's okay, I'll be waiting right here when you get back. Did you find everything? Great, now here's what I want you to try. To balance the penny on the toothpick, <laughs> like this. Oops, Th this is harder than I thought. <sighs> Man, I, I don't think I can do it. Can you? It's pretty impossible, isn't it? Every time we try, we, we get the same result. The penny falls. Sin always gives us the same results too. Sin always leads us away from God. We need someone to take our sins away so we can be brought back to God. Now, let's try to balance our penny a different way. First, we need to take our second toothpick and tape it crossing the other toothpick. Now, if we hold the toothpicks this way, we can balance the penny easily. Notice how the toothpicks form a cross. The cross reminds us of Jesus. Only he is able to carry the weight of our sin. Jesus takes away our sin so we can live with God forever in his perfect heaven. Today's Bible story from 1 Kings chapters 12 and 13 helps us understand why we need Jesus' forgiveness. Jeroboam was the king of Israel. One day, he started thinking, if the people in Israel want to worship God, they have to go to the temple in Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the kingdom of Judah where their old king Rehoboam is ruling. Maybe the Israelites will start thinking of King Rehoboam as their leader. This is not what Jeroboam wanted. So he made two golden calves, idols. He made useless idols out of gold for them to worship. Then he made an announcement to the northern tribes. It is so inconvenient for you to travel all the way to Jerusalem to worship at the temple. Look, I have made you these golden calves as gods. These gods led our ancestors out of Egypt. You can worship them. Jeroboam was referring to the time when the Israelites left Egypt after being slaves and made a golden calf to worship. God punished them and the idol did nothing to help them. So I wonder what made Jeroboam think that this would be a good idea. In case you haven't realized it yet, what Jeroboam did was sin. These golden calves did not lead God's people out of Egypt. God let his people out of Egypt. Jeroboam also built forbidden shrines and celebrated made up festivals so Israel would seem like a better place to live in than Judah. Jeroboam led his kingdom in worship to false gods. One day, Jeroboam was standing by an altar to make a sacrifice to a false god. God sent a prophet from Judah to share a message. The prophet said that a son named Josiah would be born into the family of King David. He would bring judgment on all the priests who make sacrifices to false gods. King Jeroboam pointed to the prophet and shouted, Arrest this man! But suddenly, Jeroboam couldn't move his arm and the altar next to him broke into pieces. Help! Jeroboam told the prophet. Pray and ask God to heal my arm. So the prophet prayed to God and God healed Jeroboam's arm. Still, Jeroboam's heart was hard and did not turn away from his evil ways. He continued to sin by leading the people away from the Lord. Because of this sin, Jeroboam's kingdom would one day be destroyed. Jeroboam sinned by worshiping idols because he didn't love God with all of his heart, soul, and might. 
as our new Bible verse teaches us to do. It's Deuteronomy 6, verses 4 and 5. Let's take a look and see what it says. Deuteronomy 6, verses 4 and 5. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord with all thine heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy might. Deuteronomy 6, verses 4 and 5. This verse teaches us to love the Lord with all of ourselves. Every part of us should be obeying, loving, and worshiping God. Let's say the verse together with hand motions to help us remember it. Deuteronomy 6, verses 4 and 5. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 and 5. When we learn to love God like this, it can help keep us from sin. Sin always leads us away from God. Jesus came to bring us back to God. Jesus is the true King who gave his life as a sacrifice so we can be forgiven of our sins. Jesus' kingdom will last forever. I really can't do it. Yeah, this is impossible. I give up. <laughs>